Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 which was released today November 16th 2017. This is another build of the Redstone 4 uh, Windows 10 operating system which is uh, 1803 so March of 2018 and this is build 17040 as you see on the bottom right. Uh, install process went well. No blue screens, no problems. It was kind of long. Funny thing, faster on a less performant machine, which is kind of funny uh, and kind of makes me think maybe the hard drive on this machine is slowly, um, you know, going away. I don't know. So anyways, um, installed flawlessly. And uh, once it actually was there, well, we got this screen. Now, one interesting thing although it was always saying and uh, i thought it was you know on on my new machine because i have two machines that have the insider builds now i reactivated an acer machine that i have with an insider build which is the home version and it actually was saying when i actually installed 17025 oh welcome to this insider build now when i installed 17025 here i remember i think it did say welcome to fall careers update but hey look at this Today, the welcome screen says, welcome to the latest Insider build. So I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but for me, even on this machine, which did not have a clean install in a while, it's changed to welcome to the latest Insider build. So which is kind of interesting. And um, I think, um, you know what, not bad an idea because, you know, we are Insider builds. Why not let us know immediately? So there's a few little things in here, not a lot, uh, mostly uh, things that have to do with the, uh, you know, handwriting and on-screen keyboard, the touch keyboard, but we'll go through a little bit of the things we can show you. Um, one of the things I didn't show you last time was the fact that you could activate the um, suggestions for basically the um, key keypad. And basically, when you were actually writing, you could activate a little bit like a cell phone, gives you suggestions when you type on the touch keyboard. Here, even on a regular keyboard, it actually gives you uh, suggestions. So you see here, when I type in Cortana, there are three suggestions that I can click on, and it will actually kind of, you know, try to uh, understand what I want to say. And if it doesn't, well, you, you know, you just, just type and here we go banana <laughs> so whatever uh, it, it tries to um, you know know what it you want to type and that was something I it could not show you last time but it's available in this build now in this builds new features uh, we have first of all if you have a, um, a, a sen standard definition um, or an HDR display high dynamic range display or standard dynamic range display. If you have a display that is capable of being tweaked when it's in high dynamic range, well, there is for you guys, and it's not on mine because I don't have such a device here, but there is a new setting. So if you go into settings, uh, system and display, you will see a new setting appear in this list that's gonna say, oh, um, you know, HDR and advanced color settings are available. But that's available only if you have a high dynamic range screen. The second thing that is interesting is uh, in the ease of access. So if you go into settings, into ease of access, there's a new cursor pointer and touch feedback tab that wasn't there before to uh, help you make choices or basically um, they are actually helping you uh, change cursor thickness, change pointer size and color easily, change touch feedback if you want to have more or less feedback on your touch device or your touch um, keyboard or touch screen or whatever you're using as a device. It's in here so you can actually now uh, change all of that and uh, help out if you want to have you know a changed cursor thickness and so on. Uh, these are things that were in the uh, control panel before, but now are getting into the uh, cursor pointer and touch feedback within 
ease of access. So it's not a bad idea. Um, that's for sure. Also, <clears throat> there are some touch keyboard improvements. So anyone that has a touch keyboard uh, use, if you have a, uh, a tablet or a, a touch device and want to you know, share that, well, the touch keyboard on the, um, on the device has new types of gestures. So if you have a touch keyboard, if you actually, you see the blue line that follows my mouse pointer, uh, this is a um, new shape writing touch thing. So you see here, for some reason, it thinks I wrote Tinkerbell um, and I actually have no idea what I actually did, but uh, this is a new uh, feature. And, you know, some people like to use this, um, basically um, having this shape writing with the keyboard. Uh, a lot of cell phones, smartphones have that also. So if you use that and you're uh, used to using that, well, basically it's something that can help you out. It's available in many, many languages. Improved gestures also. So for example, if I change this to a uh, handwriting panel, sorry, I'm going to just change it to the handwriting panel. You could actually write with handwriting. So if you have a touch screen and you want to use your finger, for example, in order to um, do that, well, you can. So here, let's just uh, for a second bring the uh, I'll bring the uh, little notepad up here, and uh, we go into um, tablet mode. And then we go into the touch, uh, the handwriting or touch keyboard. There's some new gestures. So now if you type with a touch device, it will actually let you uh, recognize. So it says now here, and there's a new gesture and I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's this, this, I think. Uh, didn't work for me, but anyways, this gesture is supposed to erase. Uh, I'm trying to, here we go. I think I just did it, it erased my line. So these are some of the gestures that you have and you know it, it writes to your device. So if you click there and you type um, you know uh, hello in letters, ugh, this is hard to do on a, a little touchpad on a mouse. So hello uh, and it writes you see here hello and of course there's a uh, new bracket which apparently is there, here we go, to uh, erase. So these are new uh, things that are available. That little bracket is what's called the commit gesture to erase the line and actually continue on with something else. You know, these are touch stuff. So if you have a touch keyboard that's uh, a touch uh, device, sorry, or tablet, and you use the touch keyboard all the time, you have all of these new gestures that are available. So it's, it's available to all of you uh, that use these devices. And, uh, it's interesting because I, I find that it's actually so interesting to see how they are focusing a lot on the touch aspect since we've started the, uh, new, uh, Redstone 4 builds. So I think there's something, uh, interesting there. Apart from that, really nothing much more. Um, one of the things that is interesting and that we are waiting for now, this version, we started, you know, uh, hearing about timeline feature coming. Well, it's not in this one, but apparently maybe in the next or two next builds, timeline is um, probably coming very soon, sooner than we uh, might expect because the basics of the timeline are in here. We just need to have the apps to work with it. So um, apart from that, works fine. Been using it for the last, um, what, four hours, three hours and I've had absolutely no issues at all, no glitches. Everything seems to work perfectly. I've uh, watched some videos. I've streamed some uh, live streams. I've, you know, went on Facebook, did a lot of things, opened documents. Um, seems to work well, but there are some problems in this build, of course. So if you encounter stuff that doesn't work well, it can happen. I know there's some problems with Cortana in this build. So that's one thing that might be happening here. If you try to use Cortana in some way, it might be broken. But apart from that, um, I've had no glitches as of now. I've restarted twice just to see how the restart and the start of the uh, device would go. And it seems to work well. So that's where we are at on 17.040 released today. So how did it go for you? Can you update? Were you able to update to this new build? 
And what do you think? Um, anything interesting or anything that you might have seen that, you know, maybe is not in the documentation? Uh, some people find things sometimes that's not written. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoyed this quick review of the latest build of Windows 10.